Welcome back to another video guys, so in today's video I'll be discussing the HCMC stock Just giving my overall thoughts, analysis of this stock and where I think it's going to go Obviously I all know it's been in the news quite a lot recent, recently with the um, big lawsuit going on against Philip Morris Which we'll talk about a bit later on And obviously all the hype this stock has got at the moment So I just wanted to make a video quickly and just talk about it with you So first things first, what exactly do HCMC do? Healthier Choices Management Corp provides e-liquids, vaporizers and related products. The company operates through two segments, natural organic retail stores and vapor products. Its vapor uh, batteries are powered products that enable users to inhale nicotine and vapor without smoke, tar, ash or carbon, so basically the e-cigarettes. The company sells its e-liquid under the vape store brand name and offers its products through nine retail vape stores in the southeast region of the United States. So basically, it's an e-cigarette company. So as many of you now know, guys, HCMC, the main sort of um, drive behind this um, surge in the price of the stock, and they are um, actually suing Philip Morris International over patent infringement. The lawsuit was originally filed back in November 2020, but obviously since then, it's been picking steam up thanks to a post on the Reddit penny stocks. Again, this could end up being like another AMC or GME style stock, so you've got to take a pinch of salt. These fundamentals sort of go out the window with these uh, stocks. It's all hype, hype and nothing else really. Like the company has 400 million uh, market cap, and really, really small company. And the revenues and all that sort of fundamental stuff aren't great. But obviously they get, as I'll show you later on when I look at the um, graph over the last few months, They've really been picking up due to volume. I think they've had billy over a few billion in volume over the last uh, two or three months. So you got to look at that. Obviously, the more popularity it gets, and the more around Twitter, social, um, Reddit, all sorts, the more uh, the share price will pick up. And so the lawsuit obviously was back in November two thousand twenty. This is investors taking interest on the company as they speculate it could actually win the lawsuit. So it's not all hype. So if they do win the lawsuit and they come up with a substantial amount of uh, money. That could be obviously really good as well. But people are sort of suspecting the stock would get up to £1 again, which I'll show you later on. Um, that is the rumour, basically. Whether that'll actually happen is at the moment is only not even half a penny. The company, If so, the company will be seeking damages from Philip Morris. And just a bit more into the infringement, basically, the, there's the products that sh which um, HCMC have, which is the IQOS Vapor products. Um, basically, it's Philip Morris sort of taking credit for sales of that when actually they break in the terms of HCMC so it's an interesting one it could we'll have to see how it goes the rumors are they could be hearing stuff this Friday but we'll just have to wait and see what happens there so now I'll just take a quick look at the um, last six months on the share price graph to just give you a better insight into the popularity ever since the um, lawsuit first got announced and obviously since it got picked up on uh, reddit etc many people have just been really really he heavily invested into this company so as you can see obviously at the moment the share price is uh, 0 0.0038 but back in let's just have a look now so back in november it was 0 0.001 obviously volume ranging differently it could have been a couple hundred thousand ranging to a million nothing too major but then obviously we see the first real spike where it got to 346 million with volume of trades this was early december just after that date of the law lawsuit with philip morris and just since then the share price has sort of been going up and up uh volume i mean still been bad days i'm not sure how right that is but it says 47 trades in one day on um 30th of december but this is this part here you're getting up to the 1.6 billion mark and just after that we see a massive shoot up all the way up to almost half a penny obviously we saw a little dip since then trade sort of went down again but yesterday, or well, whenever you're watching this video, I'm. Um, this was on Monday, sorry, the 22nd of February. We've seen 3.76 billion in volumes of trades, so that is absolutely massive. And obviously, it's the greed as well, so it's obviously a good, good sign. But if that has followed suit, this could, this could really get up to a full penny. We'll just have to wait and see. That'd be absolutely fantastic. I, I do personally own um, 60,000 shares. Obviously, it's not a lot compared to some people. You got some people owing millions and millions. If it's predicted this does get to one pound, um, you'll be sitting on quite a worth of some cash. But obviously that's big ifs and buts. So hopefully now with this six three point seven six billion worth of trade, it does sort of drive the share price up even more. But again, we'll just have to wait and see with that. 
So we'll touch more on the predictions now for the future for um, HCMC, more short to mid-term rather than long-term. We're going to take a look at the wallet investors' prediction for them for the coming months and year. So as you can see, the wallet investor predicts a one-year forecast of $1.076 with a five-year forecast of 0.0325. So it's taken into, obviously you can see the note there, due to the specific nature of HCMC management stock, the prediction can be significantly excessive for slash unrealistic. So again, take that with a pinch of salt, the one the one dollar mark is probably out of range, but you never know. Look what happened to um, AMC. That stock went up an absolutely ridiculous amount. I think it went up from around twenty dollars. Was it? Correct me if I'm wrong. All it was around four five hundred dollars. Obviously, then you, all that happened where you couldn't really buy or sell the stock, and then share price obviously went uh, down since then. So more modest look at the five year, which is a uh, zero point zero three two five. We'll just have to wait and see with this one. Um, I personally think it could reach one pound. Obviously, in today's day and age, with obviously a pound still not a big share price, so obviously if the volume gets big enough and they win the lawsuit, and many people will take more interest in it. So that is pretty much it for the video today, guys. I'm going to leave you to it with that. Take care. Bye.